Are you winning the day or are you wasting your day? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three tactics to know how to win your day. Because as a powerful, strong, and high caliber woman, that is exactly what we need to do. My name is Karina, welcome back to my channel where I provide stepping stones on how to become the best version of yourself. I also have created the Million Dollar Lady program, which serves as another stepping stone for you to become the best version of you. We include wardrobe, which includes how to dress, where to shop, how to grow also from the inside out and become the high caliber woman that you are. So let's talk about winning the day. Why is this so important and how do you know that you are actually doing it? We all have days where we just want to relax and slug around and our brain just needs one of those rest days because sometimes we even feel like we're overworking ourselves. And there's nothing wrong with having that relaxing time. However, with everything going on and with so many kind of days away from school or work and I guess vacation days, it's easy to fall into a pattern of not feeling motivated and not feeling like you're doing something. And that can turn into a really negative pattern that holds you back from achieving all of your dreams and goals. And soon you can find yourself watching Netflix or scrolling through social media for hours upon hours and you notice your goals are just passing you by. And if that's the case, that is not acceptable because we are wasting our lives. So let's talk about these three tips to improvements. The first one is we need to realize that action is the purpose of life. That is the greatest gift you can ever give yourself is to take action on absolutely anything every single day, whether it's your fitness, whether it's your mindset, everybody has different goals, but if we're not taking actions, we are dying. And I know that sounds extreme, but that's just the truth because even if we don't know where to start, even if we don't know what to do or how to do it, or we have no experience whatsoever, we are never going to get there if we don't take a single actionable step, even if it's really, really small, such as Googling on how to do it. If you figure out the first step, you should take it even if it's just a little tiny thing. The second step is realizing that there is nothing that's just going to fall on your lap that's going to transform your life or change your mind you have the sole responsibility for doing this. So a lot of people wait for an opportunity or for an application to show up in their Gmail or for a sign. But to be honest, there is no such thing. What you are looking for, you will get. So if you are looking for a sign in the midst of what you're doing, you will find one. If you are looking for kind of a sad day, a sad moment, a lazy day, and that you're not worth it and that you don't deserve this, then that is exactly what you're going to find. So realize that there is no knight in charming armor that's gonna come and save you. And if that happens, then great, but you have to be a strong woman to deserve that as well. There's no opportunity that's going to just fall on your lap. I know this from personal experience because when you're just sitting around hoping, wishing, waiting, nothing is going to come out of it. But when you are in the action, doing things, expecting great things, then it's going to happen. And the last tip is to really pay attention to your emotions. Your thoughts have an effect on your emotions, which also have an effect on your actions. So if you are doing something throughout the day and you notice that you're not feeling the best, maybe you feel like you're being unproductive or you feel negative, then that's a good sign and indicator that that is not the direction that you should be going, that you should tweak it and start focusing on things that actually make you happy. Sometimes it's difficult to do that when you are stuck in a rut, but if you even take small steps, for example, reading a book or going on a walk and being connected with nature, putting in a podcast as you are lying in bed or something like that, or as you're cooking or eating, you'll notice that you are absorbing all of this positive information instead, and it makes you want to do more. There's always something that will inspire you. And I know this again from personal experience. When I put on a podcast or a positive YouTube video or something that encourages me and fills my brain up with positive thought, I want to take that and I want to try things that are in line with those positive messages because you just feel gravitated towards it. It's almost like you can't help it. When you hear positive things, when you are around positive ideas, 
you have no other option than to go in that direction. But if you are around and being lethargic or saying, I'll put this off until tomorrow and I'll just do something that's easier today, then you will find yourself in that never ending constant wave and you're never going to get out of it. But the easiest thing to do is just to start small and realize that you are the person who has complete and full control of your life and you can change it when you need to. And begin with really simple things. Fill up your mind with positive messages, get off of social media that can be very monotonous and negative even if we are watching funny videos we might not even realize that they're literally making our brain kind of deteriorate over time but listening to an e a book on audible or a podcast will really transform your mood and you will slowly and surely be motivated to do things that are more in line with your goals and with your success let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below and if you've ever felt kind of in a down mood and what helped you get out of it and pave your path to success. Also check out my Million Dollar Lady program in the description link and subscribe to the channel, like the video, I'll see you in the next one.